Hey everyone. So I did a little Caterpillar shopping this weekend. Went and looked at a couple different parts units. And my plan initially was to tear this entire track frame down. But being that in the last video we found that the frame itself has such excessive wear in it from where the front idler had moved back and forth so many times. I'm thinking just for now I want to remove the entire track frame as one because it may be easier in the long run to rebuild a different unit and maybe use this one for parts. So I started by trying to loosen these four bolts here and then there's some bolts up underneath we'll have to get to as well. But this one here has rusted bad enough from all the dirt and stuff sitting in here that it is now smaller than the nominal 15 16 sized wrench. Um, I don't know if you can quite see it, but it is a very loose fit and even with a six point socket it just rounds off so just to save the time tonight i'm just going to cut this off the other three did break loose no problem so let's get after it one thing i've kind of wanted to show for a while is how i cut bolts off i know some people will actually try and gouge underneath the head almost like you're using a cut off disc on a grinder to cut underneath and leave material up here I don't do that. I start at the very top with my flame and I will work that back and forth and slowly move down. And what I like about Caterpillar is they use a washer under almost everything. And so what that washer does is it creates a barrier so that you don't gouge into the part below. Your washer basically saves this piece while still allowing you to cut the entire head of the bolt off. Okay, with that one burned out, that one completely out, and those two loose, I'm gonna leave those two because I'm gonna be working under the crawler trying to get the last point of contact off. And I don't want this track frame to start twisting and moving on me. So I'll leave those two in, that way it's got some support out here. I can come take those two off after I get everything unhooked underneath. So we're up underneath the crawler. The front would be that these two bolts up here. This is the back. This pin runs sideways, lets that track flex up and down. We need to take these four bolts out, and it should allow this to split and fall away. So I don't know how much of that I'm gonna get recorded. There's not a lot of room under here, but I at least wanted you guys to see what I am doing. Well, you guys really didn't miss much at all. It was just I threw the impact on them and they came out clean. They're not even rusty. Really happy with that. So we're back to these two bolts here up front. We'll get them the rest of the way out. And then I believe I will have to actually jack up the main casting of the crawler to get this track frame out of here. We should be able to wheel it forward and out. So I'll get these out and bring you back. There's what's left of that washer and bolt. As you can see we did not gouge into the casting at all, so that's good. And the more and more I keep taking this bolt out here, we keep gaining space there. So maybe I won't have to jack up the back. We'll find out here. Probably should have went and got a socket on the impact and just made this quicker, but... Nothing wrong with hand tools from time to time. Even though I'm not left-handed, this is backwards for me. All right, last bolt is out. 
except for what's left of that one there. But that has already started to move, so I will run grab the jack, see what happens. the track frame out in the open you can see that other bushing half must have stayed up in there I'll have to grab that but here you can see the bushing this just sits on top of there the bolts come up from underneath and that holds the inner side of that track frame like I said all that came apart no problems let's go dig what's left of that bolt out that we had to torch in the track frame so just in case anyone asks, no, I'm not sponsored by Snap-on or anyone. I just really do like these PWZ series pliers for grabbing a hold of things. And actually, this stupid thing is, you know, it's not finger loose, but it was quite loose there. These will bite harder than any other pliers I have found. And I'm still on my first set. Never had to replace them for bad jaws or anything like that. Pulled out a lot of broken bolts, broken taps. And they've held up well. That's what's left of it. Now we have a clean track frame. I am going to go ahead and remove that other track frame just as one unit, just like we did on this side. But I did have to put the jack under the belly here. Reason being, once I take off that uh, inner mount, that is what was holding this up yet. Otherwise, it's just sitting on the sprockets here on the ground. So once that's unhooked, we'll let the jack down, and then we'll move to the other side and unbolt the rail where it meets the sprocket. So on this side, all four bolts were broke loose by hand, but I'm cheating this time. Just so you guys are aware, I did crawl underneath already and already got the cap unbolted. So this should be the last bolt for this track frame. Sure is nice when you don't have to fight them. Try cutting everything apart. Everything just unbolts as it should. But I'll get it jacked up here. We should be able to roll this one forward just like the other side. And just like that, both track frames are out of the picture, at least for now anyway, until we figure out which route we want to go. We did have to put a jack stand under the front just to support the bell housing for now. Uh, right now we're sitting on each sprocket and this jack stand, that's our three points of contact. So I think I am going to wrap up the video here. Appreciate everyone following along. We still have final drives to do and a few smaller things before we send this off to get blasted. And then once it comes back, we will put it in nice, shiny new yellow paint. So thanks everyone for watching, subscribing, hitting the like button. We'll see you on the next one. Hey right, guys, we're up here at the house, still in the back of the pickup. Yes, this is supposed to be there, so don't worry about that. But we have a cat factory skeleton tow hook for the rd4 i believe that piece goes right there 
and then this strap comes all the way back underneath the crawler and basically ties into your drawbar. Really excited to have this piece. I think it'll fit well on that crawler. John, if you're watching, appreciate it. Till next time, guys. Take care. We'll see you.